Hello my beautiful Pisces friends. Welcome to viewers, all viewers, watchers, cross watchers. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot. We're going to jump into this love reading for you Pisces. Let's look at the overall energy. We have close encounters and this butterfly is toying with the thought of what commitment means. So close encounters, it's a time that you're really keeping your options open and thinking about what you truly want. Earth magic, being grounded, get out in the fresh air, take a walk. It's a magical time for you, Pisces. We have wish upon a star, so you are manifesting. The overall energy in this reading is exquisite. It's the king of wands energy, fiery, passionate, joyful, um, sexy, definitely really strutting your stuff, but you have a twin flame relationship, Pisces. 1111, the naked heart tarot deck is the only one that has number 22. Butterfly, how twin flame relationships transform your life. All right, so in the recent past, the energy between you and your person was you both came to the table, you made an offer. The Seven of Wands, you're both a little bit nervous, a little diff bit defensive, but that's, you know, it's normal. So we get the energy currently that you are getting to know each other, getting to know all about each other. You are in this beautiful Queen of Wands energy, fiery, sexy. You may know each other from work, but it really speaks to the fact that you have a fiery, a grounded, sexy relationship. Pisces, here you are in your reading, looking at things from a different perspective, because you're thinking very much about settling down with someone. I'm sorry, I said that just the opposite. Pisces, this is your person. They are looking at you <laughs> in your, as, as if you, to try to really see if they can envision the two of you married. That is twin flame, 1111 again, very strong energy. So your person knows that something is very much a close encounter. They understand that there is a magic that's taking place and you are their wish fulfillment. So when they view you though, they view you as a person, Pisces, who is exhausted, fatigued, laid out. Your person feels as though, you know, you're going through some sort of cycle um, the Innocence of Wands is a page of wands throwing caution to the winds. They don't really see you doing that. Your person really feels um, Pisces in their heart space, very left out in the cold, very burdened. They feel like they can't reach you, that there's something about the communication that is falling short here in the relationship. When we look at how they view the future with you, they have fire in their belly. They will fight till, you know, the very last every bit of strength that they have in their body for a, again, a marriage type relationship, a commitment, a traditional love relationship, Taurus energy, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Taurus energy, fire sign energy, Gemini energy, but they feel as though you're very much in your head. They also feel as though you know, you've got some sort of burden going on here that they can't quite figure out. Hidden between the two of you is this very codependent energy. The Seven of Swords says, Pisces, that you and your person have have mucked around kind of in this little mud, um, mud pit. That the two of you have been trying to find your truth, trying to, in a very covert way, handle whatever toxicity belongs or is there between the two of you. Both of you are aware of it. Both of you are trying to, sometimes you gloss over it to your detriment. Other times you find very nice ways to say very tough things. And that Seven of Swords means that you're not super blunt, you're a little bit sneaky, you kind of go in the side door to get the message out. But it speaks to the fact that spirit is telling you that, you know, you might be in a situation, somebody's coming back into your life for a reunion, somebody who put you in a third party situation. Now I see this is not even a part of the reading here. Spirit is telling you to look out 
to be careful, to be absolutely sure you're not in a third party situation. The Six of Cups says, yes, enjoy yourself, plan a life with somebody, but only if this energy is healed. And when we get the devil energy next to it, one of you may be having sort of like being haunted by the voice of Christmas past. So there may have at some time been an infidelity in the relationship because when we get the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and it doesn't have to be a, an infidelity with a person. It can be a situation in which Pisces, your person sees you as someone who will just not marry them or maybe that they will see that you just don't think that you want to be married at all. So it does look like the toxic energy that's here is very normal for twin flame type relationships. It really calls both of you to ascend forward and look at your outcome. The Queen of Cups, all loving, all giving, sweet, kind, beautiful Cancerian energy. We have Scorpio energy. We have uh, Libra energy. We have Capricorn energy. We have Aquarius energy. But we also have this beautiful Eight of Wands moving forward with lots of love, with lots of enthusiasm, making love, really taking the situation and bursting forward with lots of passionate commitment. Let's look and see what the clarifiers are here for your reading um, to really go into this a little more deeply. So why do we have both of you feeling defensive even within the framework of your offer i feel like this is a relationship that's been around a while i don't feel this is new or it is a new beginning in an old relationship the hanged man says that both of you are looking at things from a different perspective that whatever has happened in the past um, you're really trying to not be defensive. You know, we see Pisces, you may be the ringleader here with this energy, but you are really helping your person see things in a very balanced way with that Four of Wands energy. Why else is this, this so worrisome? This can be a ring or an offer that you're both nervous about agreeing upon, but it is for marriage. At the end of the day, both of you want to have this incredible very luxurious very legacy self-made people kind of marriage the knight of swords speaks about the fact that you've talked about the ideals at length maybe sometimes too much is sometimes a little bit overwhelming <clears throat> The Heart of Wands. We have the Heart of Wands here clarifying all this beautiful work that you're doing on the relationship, getting to know you, getting to know all about you, mastering relationship with you, uh, really getting to know you in a way that allows both of you the freedom to be yourselves, being very confident, being feeling very much uh, that you adore each other, understanding that you're both in it to win it, powerful energy for the two of you. And we have the Four of Cups. So again, I think that two of you have been together a bit of time here. For some of you, it will be a long time. For others, less long. But the Four of Cups says that you need to reinvigorate the relationship. Sometimes things get a little bit boring, a little mundane. You know, hey, it's tough to be the Empress. All those grapes and all that beauty surrounding you. All that luxuriousness in terms of your emotions with each other. The Empress energy is Taurus. Very, very steady, reliable, the queen of the queens. And both of you give that to one another. Both of you nurture each other at the very highest level and the relationship. So this is a very dynamic relationship. Pisces. Who would think necessarily that Pisces would be in this kind of incredible relationship where you're really doing that soul searching, but there you are, you're doing it. The Innocence of Swords says that both of you watch each other on the internet. I feel as though you're both very supportive of each other. I feel as though with that Four of Wands energy that you really go out of your way to create a nice environment, your person does. You know, releasing the judgment card, releasing old resentments and old problems and things that you've worked through three of swords energy uh, it could even be the energy of releasing family issues or heartbreak from the past is how it's coming up and that hermit energy is a perfect antidote 
because the hermit is Virgo and figuring things out. So Pisces, your person has really worked through a lot of their issues. They're really now recalibrating what they want, walking into the sun. Beautiful temperance energy here. The energy of becoming really balanced, knowing what they want, knowing that they haven't had it yet. How does how does Pisces person how does your person Pisces feel about that Ten of Swords with you? The universe that you've put it behind you. Does your person have any responsibility for this feeling of defeat or betrayal? Three of coins. I would say not so much. This does look like an independent energy for you, having nothing to do with your person. Yeah, chariot card. Your person really loves you. Honey, I'm home. I love you. You know, the movement of cups is a king of cups with the queen of cups. Your person feels really sexy. They feel like you're their best friend, that you are their happy place physically, sexually, you know, emotionally. They really do. They really do have this feeling that you love them. They love you. The five of coins says your person is not feeling very good about their financial state of affairs. The wheel of fortune speaks to the fact that they have given up a burden. They may be giving up a new job and getting, giving up an old job, getting a new job, but they also have felt like they've been on the outs with you and they want to rebuild that. They want to have that stability, but you know, the key is right here. The door is there. They just have to look up and take advantage of this chance uh, that they have right now. The tower card says that your person is in a crisis mode. They feel like very unstable at this point in time. They feel as though they're they're taking that leap of faith. They're doing it logically, but it does not diminish the fact that your person feels like they have to rebuild the structure of their life, reinvent themselves. But when they look at you, they see you as being the person with whom they can do it. Look at that Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love that will might and probably will lead to a marriage commitment. Pisces, what is, ooh, five of wands. There's a lot to contend with, a lot of circumstances around the two of you, a lot of challenges, but this love is very real. Nine of wands, your person is tired right now. They need to get some rest. They've been overthinking things, uh, but we see the eight of wands moving forward. So they take a step back. They do some healing work. They take a little bit of time for themselves. Uh, Pisces to really work and that is I love the six of swords it's Aquarius energy mind over matter why is the seven of swords here what is going on two of swords there was some sort of secret that's gone on between the two of you one of you is aware of a secret with the other one I'm not sure you may be aware of secrets that both of you have kept from each other so what is this toxicity not wanting to talk about your choices with each other. Not wanting to dive in too deeply. What is going to be the most helpful action that you can take Pisces, invest in the relationship? Just do the day-to-day -day work. Don't don't put your person in it and you know, don't juggle your person. Wow. So I will say this. For some of you, there might have been some sort of secret texting or secret communication with somebody somebody who could have considered themselves a friend to your person either you or your person pisces but it speaks to the fact that that has no it's no it's no longer a concern but the two of swords reverse says that you also will not let it happen again so whatever happened here what kind of betrayal was it was it really a romantic betrayal Two of Wands. No, it was just not really making clear-cut choices, not making things clear about their intentions. But you did this with each other. It looks as though I think times when times were tough in the relationship, both of you would have a tendency to sort of go into your corners and not talk. So let's see what's happening with Spirit. Oh, Six of Wands, a victory. So it does look like most of you are working through this energy to get into that victorious energy of making a commitment. Why is spirit? Tell us something about the Three of Swords. Ooh, the Sky Father. Oh, wow. Somebody's father 
came between the two of you, there was some sort of heartbreak. There's some sort of concern, Pisces, that your person, that spirit wants you to know about the father, your father, or your person's father. There is a new beginning going on, though, so it does look like there is a very reliable, energetic ability to move past this energy. So it looks like there might have be been a family secret of some sort. So I'm not going to really take that as either one of you having cheated directly on each other. It could be much more mild than that. It might, might be much more mild than sort of sitting the fence in the relationship. But take it as it resonates. Tell me in the comments below where you're from, but also what how you're reading this story because, you know, it's like a buffet table. The Four of Pentacles. You are holding on to each other as you go forward like a rocket train what it no no it's a bullet train like a bullet train into the future you are absolutely soulmate energy we have two hearts beating as one with a twin flame couple i've had so many twin flame couples coming up in readings this particular week has been off the charts you are not letting go you are holding on to each other you are moving forward into an incredibly rapid beautiful time Whatever you wished upon a star will come to pass, Pisces. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back. Please tell me where you're from. Comment, like, subscribe, share. I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you and hope to see you in another reading soon, Pisces. Bye-bye.